Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Subscribe down below. We are in New York City. I've been living here for about a month and we're doing another New York City week in my life. My birthday was yesterday, so I ended my birthday vlog yesterday. I had a whole birthday weekend. So go watch my birthday weekend vlog if you haven't already. But today's Tuesday and Brooke and I are doing another Gals on the Go studio shoot. We got reached out to by a photographer and a makeup artist to do a test shoot. And we were like, yes, let's do it. So we totally planned outfits coordinating. Gals on the Go is the podcast I have with my best friend, Brooke Michio. And I'm so excited and it'll be a fun time. I'm about to head out the door. We're going to this really cool studio in Soho. Um, these are the three, and these are the three outfits that I coordinated with Brooke and you guys will see when we get there. But I'm trying to decide if I should just walk with them or if I should fold them. I kind of just want to walk with them like down the road. How crazy. True gal on the go energy right now. Good morning, Soho. Good morning, Brooke. Hey, everybody. Hello. We're here at the studio right now. Here with Shannon and Monica. She's yeah. setting up. Guys, the vibes are so right. We're in this really cool studio and she's genius. She has the backdrop and then a mirror. She has a mirror so you can see yourself while you're posing. Genius. And then, yeah, so we're just vibing. Yay. Brooke's getting her makeup done now by Monica. I just put on my first outfit. Going for this all white little blazer suit moment. Styled by stylist check. Makeup looks so good. It's gonna look right in photos, I just feel it. She has all these, we're the same shoe size, me and Shannon, so I'm very excited. <laughs> she has all these shoes here and really fun accessories. The whole little setup, honestly. Stop using this lipstick, you guys. It's called Vegas by Kosas. Love it. Yeah. Outfit number two. Both of our dresses are from Revolve. Mine's this little snakeskin number. Hers is this beautiful tan. I actually have that in black. Then I'm wearing Shannon's shoes. Ooh, they're actually really comfortable. Um, they're from Zara, she said, and they're so cute. I want a pair. Oh, She's already my uploading gosh. them. Oh my gosh, I'm screaming. Wait, you're. Oh my gosh. Oh. They're so cute. I feel oh so editorial. Ah! So glam. Me and Brooke trying to be so serious. <laughs> so cool. So cute. We're in two hands right now. Stop by just to have a little lunch. I got this lemon apple and ginger juice. They were out of um, green juice, but this is actually very refreshing. It's really cute. We're in the Tribeca location. It's very cute, very nice. Yum, a second breakfast. <laughs> so Brooke and I are giving ourselves like an hour to have a break, and then we're gonna record tomorrow's episode today. So Brooke and I have like an hour, and then she's gonna come over and record an episode of Gals on the Go. My social battery is low right now. It's very low. Got Juicy Lucy. Got Brooke and Juice too. She's on her way over. Ginger shot for moi. I'm like dead, but like coffee won't hit me right, if that makes sense. I'm also just obsessed with wearing these clips in my hair. They just keep my hair out of my face without ruining my hair. Brooke's here. I've got my ginger shot. Oh, oh. <laughs> thank God it's the clear one. You were <laughs> Brooks like I need two coasters. Yes, I Meanwhile, I don't do that for myself. I was like, I see this going south fast. Oh my oh, god. No. no, I mean it's clear, but like that should ew. That should be a lesson, Danielle, right there. Anyways, Good. it's recording time. This is gonna be a good episode. I just oh feel God. it. I told you guys I was gonna clean today. I'm just clearing the entryway. I brought something down to my storage room. I have a, or a storage room, I have a little storage unit here. I have a ton of grocery bags that I folded up into one big bag for groceries and stuff. Broke down a ton of boxes. Gonna bring those to the recycling room. These four baskets are gonna be going in this storage unit I got for 
this little corner area. A lot of you told me to do like a little table, but honestly, I just I just need more storage. And I got this cool thing. I think it's from West Elm. It's like a it's not a locker. It's white wood and it's literally just perfect thing to fit there. You open it up. There's shelves for baskets and I'm going to hang a hook on it. Um and then inside I'll have those so I can store so many things in there. And I just think it'll be a good vibe. So, I was just clearing this out. I don't actually know when that's coming. Hopefully soon. I have people asking about apartment updates. I didn't make my bed today, okay? My nightstand should be coming at the end of the week. I'm really excited about that. And then once the nightstands come, I'll move these baskets, which are my hampers, to under here. I've just been liking the symmetry. I don't know, I'm crazy. I'm getting a potted plant next Monday that'll be going in this corner. It's a bird of paradise, they call it. Ooh, I just bumped into the door. Um, what else? My couch, still estimated for early October. Pray that that happens sooner. Oh, and then my dining table's coming next Friday, October 1st, so yay. And then I don't know when that's coming. And then I still have a box over here that I need to build of an over the toilet storage that I bought from Wayfair. Like a white thing that'll just freestand over my toilet for more storage and potentially get rid of that. But it's so convenient. I know a lot of people don't like this and I understand because it kind of cheapens like this nice thing. But for now it's good. It was so inexpensive from Amazon and I can roll it out and just grab whatever I want. But... I do understand what people are saying, so we shall see. Ryan's here now. He made us dinner. And it's his last few moments as a 22 year old. Tonight he turns 23, we're two days apart. So I'm having a nice little din. Ryan's almost 23. 11.58. On the 21st night of September. I think you're more excited than I am. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> he was like about to leave. I was like, no, you're turning 23 first. All right. Oh wait, it's not even 59 yet. Brian, how do you feel? I'm 59. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Yay! It's your birthday, it's your day. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. He's opening the gift I got him for his birthday, or one part of it. So I got Ryan the same pan that I have. He literally used it tonight to cook and he kept complimenting how much he loves it. I was like, ooh, I hit it on the money. It's the our place always pan. Got him a different color. Yay! Birthday breakfast. Um, I told Ryan I'd get him breakfast before he starts work. So we're going on a nice walk. Have you ever been on a walk before work? Nope, Probably this is not. my first time. Oh, that's funny. I got a healthy burrito, they called it, egg white, turkey bacon, and avocado. We both got a side of home fries. Ryan got an omelet. Birthday breakfast. <laughs> I'm just doing some laundry before our big day. You guys will see. Hey, you guys. So it is um, Wednesday. It's Ryan's birthday. I am running out the door. I'm headed to a Vince Camuto event with Brooke. I'm really excited about it. It's at the Ludlow Hotel, which I actually stayed at before. And then after that, we're going to get lunch with my manager, Katie. She flew in from LA for a couple days. And obviously her and I know each other pretty well from like talking on the phone and stuff. I need some water. But we are meeting in person today. We're going to Sidell's which I've heard only great things about, bringing a ginger shot to go. It's gonna be a fun little day and then I'm gonna come back and show Katie my apartment, which will be really fun. I'll show you guys my outfit really quick. I also was like, oh my gosh, like showing my manager my apartment. It needs to be somewhat clean. Here is my little fit for the day. I don't really know if the boots go with the shorts or not, but we're doing it. Bodysuit is from White Fox, I believe. M Jewelers necklace. Dior sunglasses that I got on sale at the Real Real. My little Balenciaga bag. My shorts are from Dish. Shoes, I will link them down below, are from Steve Madden. Love them. All right, let's go hit the town. Made it to the event. Yeah. This is beautiful. We're at Cafe Camuto right now. All right, we're about to do this little video shoot thing like they do at the Oscars, all slow-mo. We're so excited. We're gonna go pick out some shoes to wear. Easy. I'm gonna do these shoes. I love them all I know, it's such a pro I just like went for them. I didn't even look. I just, yeah, I like, saw I these. Really go, love it for sight. Like, okay, we're about to do a little slow-mo video. All right, we're gonna start the turn table. Okay, we're not gonna start recording yet. Hold on, you know what we're gonna Okay, yeah, let me know. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I'm dead. This is crazy. Are we going to start recording now? And we're recording. Look at the camera. Whoa. Yeah. 
Give it to me. Give it to me. Turn around to the right. Perfect. Oh my god, so good. So good. Perfect. Give me everything. Yeah. This is crazy. This is <laughs> I mean, I wanna jump in. <laughs> this is so beautiful. All right, we made it to Sedell's. I've heard amazing things. Gals on the go. I'm so excited to check it out. Meeting with Katie. This is a dream. Katie, say hi. Everyone meet my manager. Hi, everyone. So cute. A little reunion right here. Um, they are so bougie and got this really cool little tower for their bagels. So excited. I got the French toast. Let's dig in. Hi, guys. I feel like I've just been very chaotic energy today. Um, so I thought I'd sit and do a little download it's just been another great day and i'm finally having an afternoon to myself to reply to emails edit editing my birthday vlog right now i'm really pumped about that it was so cool to meet my manager in person because technically there's no need for us to see each other in person because we do everything you know via call email but it was really nice to go with her and Brooke came along too because she does stuff with Gals on the Go. And then she came back here, I showed her my apartment and we went through some merch samples that just came in the mail. So it was cool to actually do something in person with her. So merch is on the way for Gals on the Go. Don't you guys worry. I just lit all my candles, I'm cleaning. I'm always cleaning in here, but I'm just really making it a point to keep it a clean space in here um, because when it's clean, I feel cleaner, I feel lighter, I feel better. I do, um, so kind of my to-do list. Ooh, I did that, I can cross that off. Ooh, I also did that, I can cross it off. The need to do a little grocery run. That's something that needs to be done. I need to go to FedEx and return my fashion pass order that I had this month. It's basically just a way to rent clothes, kind of like rent the runway. Um, and yes, I need to go to the FedEx. I also, so you guys saw last night, I gave Ryan the Our Place pan, but I also wanted to get him his favorite whiskey, but I didn't have time to do it yesterday. So I'm gonna do that today. I wanna fold my laundry. But yeah, so I got Ryan breakfast obviously this morning. You guys saw that, he's been working all day. I just called him to check in on him. He said he doesn't have any more meetings for the day, which is good, but he's still like doing work. I think tonight he doesn't really want to do anything crazy. I offered to like go to the putt-putt golfing area on the piers or do something fun. And he was like, I'd rather just save that for the weekend, which I totally get. I just want to be here to, you know, make his day better in any way I can. Just took off my makeup and I literally am going to put more back on later. I just, do you ever like want to just rub your face? I just had to happen. I think it's time the birthday balloons go. Am I going to like scare myself right now? <gasps> oh my God, I'm so dumb. I totally, <laughs> I totally rather be confetti everywhere. Wow, that was so dumb. That's just how much it's up. Apartment is back to its cozy original state. My grandma actually, when I FaceTimed her last night, she had me open my birthday gift in front of her and she got me this beautiful wreath with a candle and two pumpkins that I have up here and this cheese board. And she had this whole, she sent me the photo of how it should look. Put the two white pumpkins on this. Sorry, I feel like I'm making you guys dizzy with the wreath and the candle and it'd be like a whole little fall setup. But the cheese board came broken, so I have to glue it. But I just set it all up and sent her a photo. I'm also playing a playlist called Bonnie Ver Vibes. It's on Spotify. I've got the lanterns going. Oh, it feels so nice to like have like a couple hours to myself in my apartment and do some things. Oh my gosh, I have to fold laundry, but I also have errands to run. Okay, we're gonna go run the errands and then we're gonna shower and we're gonna fold the laundry in that order. Let's do it. Just got back from the market. I love just going grocery shopping. I do like the grocery delivery too, but it just was so easy to bring my tote bag and get some things. I got really random stuff, okay? Frozen broccoli. This is what Ryan made last night and honestly tasted so good. And this way, like if I don't use it right away, it's okay. Three different types of berries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries um, for my yogurt parfaits, hence the Greek yogurt. Ketchup, because I realized I didn't have any. Um, soy sauce because I'm out. Half and half oat milk. Nespresso sent me this machine and I haven't made a latte yet because I didn't have um, milk. So I'm so excited. I got oat milk to make oat milk lattes. Got some peanut butter in case I want a PB&J. Some ham, watermelon, olive oil, and hot sauce. Lots of condiments, but we're here for it. 
So yeah, I'm gonna put this all away. So I fully just showered and redid my makeup and put on a dress. <laughs> Ryan's almost done and he's gonna head over soon. Um, and I think we're gonna head over to Bondi Sushi in Olita. I didn't make reservations though because I don't know exactly what time he's gonna be ready. Um, I don't know, it's getting late. But I wanna do something for Ryan's birthday and he was like, we'll just go to dinner and then we'll do something obviously this weekend like I was telling you guys. So I think we're gonna go to Bondi Sushi. If not, we're gonna go somewhere for sushi, I think. So I'm just waiting on him. <laughs> I'm really liking the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Makeup Foundation. Flawless filter, I don't really know. Finally with the birthday boy. We're at Blue Ribbon Sushi, you guys. This place is really cool. I literally just went on Google Maps, so really happy. And Ryan loves sushi, so he's excited. I think this is like the fanciest sushi place we've ever been to. We got miso soup and edamame, and they gave us the miso on the side to mix in. How is it going? It's going good, I'm mixing in my miso. Good. Got some bear. Love it. It's hot. It's hot. Wow, look at that. Fit for a king. I just got a boring California roll, but the presentation is just stunning. It wasn't enough food, so we're getting pizza now. <laughs> Guys, we have more furniture. My nightstands just came in the mail. They were literally just in boxes. It was kind of nice. I bribed Ryan into helping me bring them up. <laughs> um, he just went back. We had a really nice dinner. Um, but I've been waiting for my nightstands for so long. I'm so excited to finally put my water on something and not be worried about spilling it or my coffee in bed. Um, these are the Tana nightstands from article.com. Love them, they're low to the ground because my bed's low to the ground and then I have this. This, so as you guys can tell, it's a very small nightstand. Um, so that's why I did the external lights here so that you don't have to worry about putting a lamp on my nightstands. But I really like how they look. And then I finally put the baskets right there and they look great. Um, so I've got blankets in that one, then that one's my hamper. This plant, like I've told you guys, is being delivered next week. So I'm really excited about that. But it's coming along in here and I just love, 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 love how simple and clean I've been able to keep it in here and just how simple it is. You guys know it was an absolute mess at home. So I'm really excited to keep this clean and nice. And I just get the best sleep here. I don't know if it's the Brooklyn and sheets or the Casper mattress or it just being super clean in here, but I sleep so well. So I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna wash my face, get my PJs on, and then tomorrow's a whole new day full of other fun little, little things. So I will see you guys in the morning. everybody I'm going to evolve MKD this morning to get a hydrofacial I'm so excited I'm calling my uber right now I'm going to get a hydrofacial I'm so excited I'm actually have a little breakout right there I don't love getting normal facials typically but I've gotten hydrofacials before and my skin is in need um, it's with the brand Epicutus I believe I'll get clarification if that's how you pronounce it but I am so excited, my driver's almost here. Oh my gosh, he's so fast. Here's my outfit, it's like every neutral color ever. Tank Aritzia, um, sweatpants, Joa Brown. Shacket is from Free People, Amazon Slides. Let's go revitalize our face, I'm so excited. Okay guys, I'm here with Lucia. We're about to do a hydrofacial. I am so excited, like I've done this once before and I'm, I'm thrilled. Just got back from my hydrofacial and guys, my skin is so glowy, I'm so happy. And she did my neck and decollete to just have it super exfoliated and moisturized and plump. She said a lot of people will get them right before they have an event or something. Um, and so yeah, I don't wanna put on makeup. She said makeup does go on really well after this, of course, um, and I will be putting on makeup later. But I was like, I really don't want to put on any makeup right now. I'm so content. I don't have anything until 4 o'clock. Later, Brooke and I are filming a video for her channel. We're doing, she went to Trader Joe's and bought a ton of fall goodies from Trader Joe's. We're going to like do like taste tests and stuff, which I'm really excited about. 
And then we're going to an event for Rails. They're launching their denim line, which is really exciting. So we're gonna go to that. And then I don't have any plans tonight. And as of now, I'm not going out tonight because I think it's gonna be a fun weekend. So yeah, I just texted Margot Lee and I was like, what are you up to tonight, buddy? Um, there was a Starbucks right by where I was getting my facial done. So I couldn't help myself to get a sweet cream cold brew. So I didn't have coffee before the facial because I didn't want to be all like jittery. I wanted to relax a little bit. Um, oh my gosh, my skin, it's so glowy. It's time for some lunch. We're doing rice, black beans, and um, I have broccoli leftover that Ryan and I made the other day. So perfect. I've gotten pretty good at making rice. It used to be really hard for me to like perfect it. I just got this, I'll link it down below for you guys. It's from Amazon. Delaney and I had something like it in Georgia, but it was hers, so she has it now. These are amazing. It's how I cook my black beans. It's how I microwave um, certain things. So if I'm like microwaving corn or black beans or whatever it may be, this is just nice because then it has some ventilation, but then also it's covered in the micro. I don't know, it's just like a good, and it's like a little serving thing, so. Love this, got it on Amazon. So many people always question this lunch decision. It's very filling, the beans, like we love it. Okay, I'm about to get ready for the evening. I'm going to Brooks to film that fall video and then the Rails event. And I thought I would do an updated current makeup routine because a lot of you guys have been asking. Um, so I thought about it as I was putting on my primer. So I've currently been using the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I'll have a link to all the products I use down below because I just find that super helpful. So I start with this primer, it's very hydrating. My skin's just been a little bit extra dry lately. And yes, I have my dry bar foam roller in my hair. It's just nice to keep my hair out of my face. And when I take it out, my front pieces are super voluminous. Hope this lighting's okay. So I've been using a couple new products. Been really trying to pay attention to what makeup artists do on my face because I think it's really interesting. A new product I've been using recently is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter foundation it says for a superstar youth glow this is the one with the doe foot applicator i know there's another foundation she has that is a pump um but i like this because i can just apply as i want i'm just putting it on areas that i definitely want to have coverage and we're gonna go in with a damp beauty blender i'm really into the glowy look right now i mean i don't know who isn't for concealer another new product i've been using this is the milani Conceal and perfect. Um, I usually use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I do love that. But I just was at the store the other day and wanted to try something new. And I just like to have a bright under eye if you can't tell. I just think it makes you look 10 times more awake, obviously. Powder right now, I'm using the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil, it's the pressed one. And I don't put it all over my face, I put it on my cheeks and my chin, on my nose, my forehead, but not on my um cheekbone because i'm gonna put highlight there and any natural glow that's there i want it to stay there just got this palette from charlotte tilbury it's the nude gasm face palette i'll link it below it's very similar to the other palette i used to use all the time from becca um this is just a new a new one for me because that one was running out and i don't even think they sell that anymore so i just use a little bit of the dark one and the lighter bronzer and gently contour i like to do the sides of my nose too then i'm just taking this blush Brooke taught me this tip because she was learning from a makeup artist. Put the blush lower on your face. It is quite flattering lower on the face. Then I'll blur it out, taking the highlight, cheekbones. For brows, I've been using the Patrick Ta Shaping Wax. Um, fun fact, it's amazing. It gives you that like wispy brow look if you want that you do need to spray it with water and that's something i didn't know or like setting spray so i use setting spray it basically activates it and then i use this spoolie brush also from patrick ta um, and i literally just dip it in the product and then i've been actually brushing my brows more up and like kind of shaped but i do like that very raised look it's honestly very eye-opening <laughs> so eye-opening Raises your arches, obviously, and it's a very cool look. I'm gonna do a little eyeshadow because I am going to an event using the Jason Wu eyeshadow primer. I've been using this a lot lately. I used to always forget to use eyeshadow primer and no more. 
because eyeshadow primer actually works. As for the actual eyeshadow, I love my Pretty Basic um, Tarte palette. Remy and Alicia's palette they did with Tarte. It's just the best. I always like to do just like a cream color on the lid as a base. It's a matte cream color. It's not shimmer or anything. I really hope that didn't just crack my palette. Do you ever drop makeup and you're scared to look? Because that's me right now. We're good. <laughs> And then I'm going to take this just brown color, pretty basic. Uh, oh my god, pretty basic. I feel like everyone does this, but this is just my go-to. I found what I like. I just put the brown in my crease and I blend out. I'm going to take this Bare Minerals palette. I think it was called the, yeah, the Latte palette. The Latte eyeshadow palette. It is gorgeous. And I'm going to use this color Destiny. It's just like a champagne color and put a little on my lid. A little bit in my inner tear duct to brighten up. And then lastly, we're gonna do mascara. I'm trying, I've been trying out this Ilia Beauty Fullest Volumizing Mascara. I like it so far, and it doesn't um, go under my eyes as much as some other mascaras. So I don't know what it is, but it's working. So yeah, I'll link all these products down below. I just do a light coat because I do get lash lift and tints. I don't have lash extensions. Lips, I'm using House Laboratories Lip Liner in the color Rule. I think this is like Lady Gaga's line. Just lining my lips, nothing crazy. It's just like this pink nudie color. This has been my favorite lipstick as of late. It's Kosas Vegas. We'll link it down below. I think I mentioned it earlier in this vlog. Voila. See, once I close this, then this lighting is just so much better. But I had you guys like in my medicine cabinet with the door open. So I'll just remember that for the future. Hopefully it looked kind of good. But see, the makeup already just looks so much better. It's nice and glowy. I'll show you guys in the daylight. So yeah, here is the makeup. It's what I do every day. It's the products I've been using. And you guys have been asking me again. I really hope the lighting was okay in there. Because it just I feel like it's a lot better out here. But I'm going to finish doing my hair. Put on my outfit and head over to Brooks. Here's what I'm wearing to Brooks' apartment to film because we're doing like a fall related video. So I actually was just gonna wear this and I had this tank on. I was like, let me see what it looks like layered. I'm kind of into it. Um, I fixed up my hair. I'm just wearing the sweats because they're comfy and I assume we're gonna be sitting down. Um, and then my slides. And then I'm bringing my booties and my outfit for the event tonight. So we'll probably just go from there, so. Let's do it. All right, guys, she's got to Brooke's apartment and she's got all of the autumnal snacks out here. Uh, autumnal? Autumnal? Do you I thought like it was. A olive oil I do like a little olive oil. Thank you. This is what we're starting off with, guys. It's the pumpkin ravioli. Have you ever. I feel like I've had it before. You're not as big as um, I've had the ravioli before, but not pumpkin. Like, oh, Delaney yeah. and I used to make this all the time, actually. And oh so. God. They cost you a type of ravioli. They do yeah. at Trader Joe's. I need to go to Trader Joe's. Last time I went was when we went together. So, if you guys want to check out this video, we're basically going to rate all the snacks one to 10, Brooke said. Yes. She's got Gossip Girl, like, season one on. The fall it's vibes are here. So, so season good. Season one hits dip, if you know, you know. Season one is the OG, it's the best, the vibes are the best. Go check it out and see what we rake. We're like big food, food critics, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right, we just finished eating such good food. Such good food. I really enjoyed it. You guys will have to go watch and see what our favorites were. I had a blast, that was like our dinner basically. Here's a little outfit I changed into. These are the Rails Topanga jeans. Um, reminds me of that song, Topanga. Um, and then I'm just wearing my go-to black like crop bra top and then this black blazer. This is from Mesh Key. This is from Misguided. Wearing my new Steve Madden Cobra boots. I will link them down below. They are so crazy comfortable and so cute and we love that and it makes me super tall. Same jeans, literally same, same, same. Same, we're the same size and we jeans, are. we have different body types. It's so this cool. This is a Ritzy bodysuit. I need to get more for the winter. I know we mentioned doing that and I really am interested because yeah. they have the best. Mm. Yay. And then the shoes are Aloha's. Yay. Aloha. And she's wearing a blazer too. I know. Yeah, It'll be fun. It hot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Toasty. We're going to head to the event. Woo! Just made it to Rails. I didn't realize they were a little corner store. This is yeah, so cute. Perfect. Tonight has been the most lovely evening. It started raining when we were at the Rails event. I mean, it was indoors, so it wasn't a big deal, but. We were there for a while, met some cool people. I met the former Miss New York. That was cool to meet her. Got to meet the Rails team. 
It's really cool just getting to go to all these events in New York. I love it. It's so much fun getting to meet like-minded people. It's the coolest thing. And it's now 10 o'clock. I toyed with the idea of going out tonight and I was like, but I don't want to. And I had stuff here I could do. I'm editing my birthday vlog right now. I'm almost done. It's already up by the time you guys are watching this. So definitely go watch it. It's so funny. I'm laughing out loud. We got a free rail sweatshirt when we left and I can't lie. I'm kind of obsessed. Brooke got the same one. They had a couple colors, but I really like this one. I just really like their logo. Ryan just called me. He just finished at the gym and he's coming over to hang out for a little bit. Kind of our routine, we literally like don't talk all day. <laughs> then we see each other for a little bit at night. <laughs> yeah, cozy vibes all around. Got so many candles on. Um, I was gonna say something. Where's my phone? I think that's all the updates I have for you guys right now. Oh my gosh, my door makes so many noises. Every time someone on my hall opens their door, mine like makes like this draft noise. Like it's kind of opening and it freaks me out every time, but I bought this thing on Amazon. It's like a draft stopper, like a door buffer that you put under. And I really hope that helps because it freaks me out every time. Hey. Hello, he comes bearing chicken. Is it still raining? Yeah. Look at you in your little gym fit. <laughs> Ryan just came over for a little bit. He's gone now. <sighs> I'm blowing out all the candles, going to wash my face, and get in bed, and do it all over again tomorrow. See you guys. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Today is going to be an amazing day. I'm headed to Citizens of Gramercy, but it's like a coffee shop, kind of chill, cool place. So I'm meeting up with my friend Amelia and her friend Lauren, who now lives here. I want to meet her friend that lives here, obviously, because I'm always trying to meet new people. And I want to see Amelia, because she's a really good friend, so. Yeah, we're gonna go. I texted her and I was like, so we're doing casual, right? And then I like, I am dressed casual, but I did add a blazer, it's a little chilly. It's like a 30 minute walk, but we're gonna do it. Romper, year of ours, I'll link it below. Blazer from Lioness, or no, Urban Outfitters actually, we'll also link it below. And then Converse, cause they're comfortable to walk in. No makeup, let's get it. Walking through Tompkins Square Park. All right, I'm here with Amelia and Lauren. <laughs> We're at Citizens of Gramercy. Food looks amazing. Love it. Been craving a green juice all week, so I went and stopped at one and got one on my way back. I immediately came back and put on a big t-shirt. Oh, I basically just did an hour walk in total, which felt really good. Um, feel nice and good and ready for the day. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life. I'm gonna end it because I'm gonna start a weekend in my life vlog for you guys. I love you all so much. Subscribe if you guys are new here. I'm so happy you guys have been loving the New York vlogs. I love reading your comments. It's like waking up on Christmas morning and all of you guys are just so happy to see the videos and you're enjoying the content, which I was really nervous about. So. I'm so happy and I do read all of your comments. So I love you all. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Bye.